Hello guys! So for today, isi-share ko sa inyo kung paano ako nag-fill out ng Form 1 application ko ng NCLEX New York State. So first, ibibigyan ka nila ng application ID which is yun yung gagamitin mo para pag nag-login ka. So based sa experience ko, kailangan mo talagang tapusin yung pag-fill out mo kasi once na nag-exit ka and then you will continue it again. Aside from application ID, they will also ask for your social security number. So wala akong social security number. So kumuha ulit ako ng application ID and back to zero ulit ako sa pag-fill out. So, ang my advice ko or suggestion ko, before ka mag-fill out, i-prepare mo na lahat ng kailangan mong i-upload na documents later on and as well as your mode of payment. So, let's start. So, for first, contact information. Do you have a social security number? So, no. Date of birth. And then, in-skip ko yung NYS DMV ID. Kasi wala ko nun, so okay lang. And then your full name, your mailing address, your phone number, and your email address. And then next is accommodation. So I have been diagnosed as having disability and requires suitable accommodations. And I'm submitting the request for suitable testing accommodations form. So for me, this is no. And then CGFNS record, so wala ako, so no as well. So okay lang na walang CGFNS. For history, name as it appears, on degree or other credentials, if different from personal information section. So, for example, dito, ikinasal ka after you graduated. So, ikilalagay mo dito kung ano yung name mo before, yung na, kung ano yung naka-indicate sa diploma mo or certi certificate mo before. Then, have you ever applied for New York State licensure in any profession? So, no. Then, moral character, have you ever been found guilty? No. Uh, any criminal charges? No as well. And then, has any licensing or disciplinary authority refused to issue a license before? So, no. Are charges pending against you? No. Um, na terminate ka ba dati? So, for me, no. And then, examination history. If you have ever been taken the SBPT, NCLEX, or a state constructed examination for licensure as either a registered professional nurse or LPN so for me no so next is your elementary or primary school so please complete this section below with details about your elementary schools if you attended multiple schools use the add new button to enter details for additional schools any missing information will be considered an incomplete application so they will ask for the name of your school the city the, the state or the province the country as well as the, how many years you attended and then your start date and your end date. So, month and year lang naman yung i-ask nila. So, it's okay kung hindi mo matandaan kung ano yung exact or kailan yung exact date ng kung kailan ka nag-start ng school at nag-end or nag-graduate. And then for high school or secondary school, same lang din yung information na kailangan nila. The name of your school, the city, the state or the province and how, how many years you attended and then the start date and your end date which is the month and year lang din naman ulit. And then for your nursing program, same din, halos may nadagdag lang konti. So the name of your school, the city, the state or the province, the, how, the number of years you attended, and then have you received this degree, diploma, certificate? So yes. And then the start date and the end date, again, month and year lang naman yung re -require nila. And then yung major concentration, it is Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Yung title of the of degree is Bachelor of Science in Nursing again. And then date awarded. So, kailan ka graduate? Again, month and year lang ang iyas nila. For other post-secondary information, wala ko nito. So, ni-skip ko lang ito. And then for previous licenses or certificates. So, wala naman akong previous licenses. Hindi naman ako nag-work before sa any state of US, so wala. It's a no. Then, child support obligation, so far, wala naman. So, no again. So, may option siya na, are you under any obligation to pay child support? So, ang choose mo ay, I am not under an obligation to pay child support. And then, for citizenship or immigration status, so... I do not reside in United States. Ang option na pipiliin mo. 
And then next is yung child abuse training and yung infection control training mo. So, kung meron ka na, tulad ko, nag-take ka online. So, ang pipiliin mo is, I completed the child abuse coursework and will attach a certificate of completion from an approved provider. Next, they ask din nila yung gender and ethnicity mo. So, what is your gender? So, female. What is your ethnicity? Asian. Additional documents. So, nag-yes ako kasi... Ito yung sinasabi ko sa first vlog ko na naglagay ako ng additional which is yung high school diploma ko and yung form 137 ko. And then next, mag-upload ka na. So, may mga options na na nakalagay doon kung ano yung mga i-upload mo. So, sa akin, kinompleto ko na siya. So, first is yung diploma. And then next is your passport. And then yung CPR requirements. So dito in include ko yung BLS and ACLS ko. And then yung infection control training certificate mo and yung child abuse training certificate mo. And then yung moral character documentation. So dito yung good standing certificate na kinuha ko sa PRC. And then, for other documents, ako na lang po yung nag-decide kung ano yung i-add ko. So, for me, I decided na i-add yung PRC ID and yung high school credentials ko, yung high school diploma and form 137 ko. Kasi sabi ko, wala namang mawawala. So, in-include ko pa rin. So, that's it guys. So, tapos na tayo. So, kung mapapansin yung review and sign. So, may time ka na i-review mo lahat tong fill out mo para makorek mo if ever may mistake or may nakaligtaan ka and then for sign just sign electronically just type type your full name and that's it and then your mode of payment you have to pay 143 US dollars for me I used my BDO debit card so acceptable naman yun so that, that that's it guys and don't forget to screenshot para lang may proof ka na nag pay ka na at natapos ka na and as well as um, take note guys, hindi mo na siya ma-open. Once na nag-exit ka dito, hindi mo na siya ma-open ulit. So, para makapag-follow up ka, follow mo lang yung first vlog ko. Mayroon kang, mayroon akong nilagay doon na email. I-email mo yung, yung New York State, yung NYSED, para i-follow up. Basta ibigay mo lang yung, yung application ID mo. That's it guys. So, thank you and sana makatulong to sa application nyo and sana ma-encourage ko kayo na mag-apply din for NCLEX. So, thank you guys. God bless and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.